What's going on, everybody? I know it's Monday, but let's talk about the Tata Wienes Tumbao. And before we start, I just really want to say thank you so much for all the love y'all showed in my previous video, how to become a better percussionist. I really appreciate the love and support and comments. That video meant a lot to me. Yeah. Work harder. So, Tata Wienes. Just letting y'all in a little secret. Tata Wienes is not his real name. So here in the US today, we're celebrating President's Day. Um, Tata Wienes is not a president, but to many was known as the king of the Congas, el rey de la conga. And rightfully so. This guy was the first one to really introduce speed as a form of expression when it came to congas. Unlike Mongo, where Mongo did show speed in, in some sort of way, but maybe not in such a subtle way that, that Tata Wienes did it. It was very entertaining. He would wow crowds by his speed. And the way he approached the congas was very unique in its way. I would say it's what really inspires a lot of generations today. Um, a lot of the riffs and, and, and roles and things you hear during solos were things that he actually started. For example... That's Tata. And for all you guys that are in love with Giovanni Hidalgo, like me, oh my gosh, Giovanni Hidalgo, you could obviously tell in Giovanni Hidalgo's playing that he is highly, highly influenced by Tata Wienes. He gives him a lot of credit as well. Eso fue Tata. I mean, Tata Wienes is responsible for this. He's responsible for all that, man. On Thursday, I'll show y'all how to do his signature move. So. Eso fue Tata. And although I would say Tata Wienes wasn't known for his tumbaos, he was more known for his soloing, his innovativeness on how he approached that. There is one tumbao in particular that he would always do in recordings he had with uh, Israel Cachao Lopez and things that he did with Dizzy Gillespie. Oh yeah. Oh, and he also worked with a guy we should credit a lot that nobody really talks about. Chano Pozo, AKA Manteca. So Tata Wienes does deserve the credit he is given. He has influenced so many people, but this one tumbao in its way is pretty unique. So everybody should by now know a basic tumbao But the way Tata Wienes would approach this tumbao, he would accent like a bass tone before hitting the slap. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, if you've ever seen Tata Wienes play, Tata Wienes really plays low to the rim. Um, really on the side so where his wrist is he normally does it right here very similar to how Changuito approaches the tumbadoras so the way uh, Tata Wienes approaches this he first initiates the tumbao with the bottom part of his palm where normally it would be a palm finger then a slap he just goes palm slap but that palm is kind of accented in a way where he makes it present as its own dominant note, I would say. 
Because normally palm finger slap, that portion, a lot of people would just like brush it off or wouldn't want it to be as noticeable. In Tata Wina's case, he would always express that tone. So it'd be. I obviously do not play that low. Um, I would say I'd play more up here. So it helped me more do a bass tone. Um, but then again, Tato Inus had really long hands and yeah. So I kind of put it up here um, to give me more of a bass tone while I approach that. So the best way to kind of explain this, it's a normal tumbao, but he just skips that one note and emphasizes more on the first note and then the slap. So the way he would approach it to be very basic on this is he would do a very dominant palm, then a slap, and then he goes to the regular schedule programming. Finger, palm, finger, two opens, then palm, finger, slap, and then two opens to your tumba, finger on your conga, and then two opens on the conga. And then back to palm and slap. That's Tata. Eso fue Tata. So for all you clave lovers that want to know where this goes on clave, Tata Wienes would normally play 2-3 son clave normally. Normally. But again, it depends. In 2-3 son clave, it always hits on the second hit of the 3 side of the clave. So... All right, y'all. Um, I know this is not much of a breakthrough on Tumbao, and, and, but I really appreciated how, how Tata Win is, even at a subtle change in a Tumbao we all know what to do and has been played forever, with just that little, little stutter that he did. All right, y'all. You already know what to do. Like, subscribe. See you guys on Thursday.